Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, today we will be going through, I will be doing this morning meditation and message every Monday um, from now on. Um, so today what we're going to do is do a quick couple minute meditation and then I'm going to go into the message that I got for everybody for the week. Um, this message for this week is so powerful. Um, all right, so get yourself to a quiet, comfortable spot that you can focus only on yourself. Okay, once there, get yourself relaxed. Close your eyes. We are going to do some breath, breath work here. And I want you to have the focus of when you breathe in, it's for four counts. One, two, three, four. I want you to focus and control your breathing in these steps. Breathe in for four counts, hold for four counts, and breathe out for four counts. Today we are listening to alpha waves that, um, binaural beats that help with relaxed focus, stress reduction, uh, positive thinking, and fast learning. All right, close your eyes. Take a deep breath for me. Hold. Release. Deep breath in. Hold. Release. Breathe normally. This last intentional breath we're going to take, I want you to tap into universal love and light for yourself. See a beam of this universal love and light coming down from the heavens, down from the universe, coming down right in front of you. I want you to breathe in that loving light and energy. Take it into your energetic field and your soul. And when you hold your breath, I want you to see yourself pulling into a dark cloud, your stresses, your fear, your pain, your resentments, your anger, your need for revenge, your forgiveness, and let it all go. Let all the negative emotions, anxieties, let it all go. Put it in that cloud and then breathe it out. All right. Deep breath in, love and light. Hold your breath. Release. Relax your head. Relax the muscles in your neck. Relax the tension in your shoulders. Relax your chest and your back muscles. Relax your stomach muscles, let them fall. Relax your hips and your buttocks. Relax your thighs. Relax your calves. Relax your feet. fall into this relaxation. Now let's start fresh for the week, shall we? I want you to see that same diamond bright white light beam coming down from the heavens, down all the way up to your head. I want you to see it going through your head into your crown chakra. Let it light up. Let it wash away mistrust and fear and doubt. Take that beam of light down to your third eye, right between your eyes. Let it wash away mistrust, misguidance. Trust what you see. Trust in yourself. Take that beam of light down to your throat chakra, right in the middle of your throat. This is where our life purpose and communication is. If you're feeling stuck in these areas, not able to speak your truth, these are just things that you have been taught and told. But these are not truths. Just because you have been conditioned with negativity does not mean it's true. 
You have every right to speak your truth and speak up and speak out. This is where your life purpose is. But when you close this area, you close yourself off to your life purpose. See that white light coming in and cleansing this area. Tell yourself, I hold firm to my beliefs. I'm safe to speak my truth. I move on to your heart chakra. Your heart chakra and your root is where I'm focused at today. See that beam of light coming through the middle of your chest. This is where our inner child is. This is where love and peace and forgiveness and joy. If you are not feeling and experiencing those, those things, you have been disconnected from self for too long. Your inner child, see him, see her, see your five or six year old self. Remember when you were that young, what you needed. You needed love and patience and understanding. And it doesn't matter who gives it to you. You must give it to yourself. Let that beam of loving light come in and fill you up. Smile in your joy. Release the pain. Forgive yourself and others. Let it go. You'll see that beam of light going down to your solar plexus, right above your belly button. This is your personal power. See that beam of light washing away those feelings of being stuck, of being unable to make decisions for yourself. It can get so bad you can't even decide what you want to eat for dinner. That is wrong. You are more powerful than that. You can make decisions for yourself. Stand in your power today. Let this beam of loving light fill you up. Let it fill your soul. You may even see light coming through with your eyes closed. That is a good sign. Fill up with this light. Now take that beam of loving light down to your sacral chakra, located two to three inches below your belly button. This is where family and karmic patterns are and relationships and your sexuality. Open this area up. You're free to be a loving, sexual creature. Let go of all karmic patterns. Release them today. Tell yourself, I release karmic holds and patterns on my life. I release soul contracts that no longer serve me. I hold the power. I am the key. Now take that energy, that loving energy down to your root chakra. This is where we feel grounded, our survival instinct, our abundance. If you're feeling blocked off from those things in your world, Today is the day that you stand and remove those blocks. It will not happen overnight, but all you need to do is just work at it. The more you work at it, the better you will feel. Let the feelings of safety and comfort wash over you. Let the feeling of divine love wash over you and cleanse you. Tell yourself, I forgive myself. I forgive others. Remember who you are. Remember your purpose. And if you don't know what your purpose is, go on a quest to find it. No one else can tell you what it is but you. And deep down, you already know what it is. All right. When you're done sending that beam of light to your root chakra you can open your eyes and come to and I will give you the beautiful message I have for you today for us all today for the week of the 14th like I said all right so I hope you enjoyed that <laughs>
So let's get into the cards that I have. Um, I already picked them all. All right, so the first one is a chakra related card and it does have to do with your abundance. So if you're in your root chakra, so this week, focus on your abundance. Focus on um, giving yourself and feeling these feelings of love and abundance. Abundance doesn't have to do with just money. Abundance has to do with self-love, giving, giving ourselves what we need abundantly, abundance in every form. Um, seek that abundance for yourself this week, okay? Um, the next thing I got was, um, hold on one second. is the lake card okay now this is saying don't take the easy way out this week okay dive deep all right do your research okay it's time to not um you know sometimes things how they look on the surface is not how they actually are all right so do your research and don't try to take the easy way out this week it it won't serve you if it's Difficult, know that the reward will be greater if you do it with, with the difficulties that you face. Trying to get out of those difficulties, the reward is not going to be as great as you want or expect. Okay. Um, then I have, um, you know, yeah, because you may not be seeing the full picture. Okay. Um, it's, it's time to stand back and evaluate to try to see the bigger pictures. Okay. Um, and then I got rain. I love this card. So this week is about, you know, again, abundance is achievable. Clear out old, outdated views. Um, you have everything that you need to grow. Okay. Everything. Okay. So then we've got this beautiful card is resistance. Okay. And this is talking about, you know, familiarize yourself with how resistance manifests for you. Okay. Um, the over and the covert, right? The, the big ones and the small ones. Um, if you continue to have doors slammed in your face, turn around. Um, there will normally be an open door. Okay. Procrastination is just another kind of fear move forward with confidence and persistence okay so wherever you're feeling the resistance it's time to like like this card said stand back analyze what is giving this resistance in your world right now and seek to really release it otherwise you're just going to repeat this week into next week this day into next tomorrow and tomorrow into the next um so it's up to you right and so the rain card like i said is about washing all of that away washing away what no longer works just like we did in the meditation okay um the healing card i pulled I tell you, this is the fourth time I've tried to make this video. I have started trying to do this three hours ago and my video keeps stopping. So I'm happy to be this far <laughs> in the video. It looks like I might be able to finish the whole thing, um, but it's time to take off your mask. Okay. So a lot of times we have masks that we wear, like we don't act the same way maybe at work as we do at home right this is saying that whatever masks you're putting on for other people hides the true you and hides your power too okay so taking off your mask be un unapologetically you and then you um can stand in that solar plexus energy um better you'll make better decisions for yourself so take the mask off this week you know, um, you have every right to be you like everybody else. And the last card, guys, is self-love. <laughs> it doesn't get any more plain or clearer than this. Okay, this week, focus on really connecting to yourself. Self-love. Do something small every day to honor yourself. Okay, you honor so many and help so many already and are there for your family and your friends be there for yourself. Your inner child may feel neglected and needs some love and attention. Give it to them. 
Okay, so that's our message for the week of March 14th. Um, oh, wait, hold on. I forgot. I got runes here. The runes just, um, you know, say the same thing, basically. All right, so the first one we got is the crossed spears. Now, um, this represents conflict, arguments, negativity, um, feeling stuck, and paused action. Okay, this is a big one in this reading for you, for, for us all today. All right, because this is for me too. I need this message too. Then we've got the wave. Okay, now the wave is all about healing, rest, and withdrawal. Remember I said earlier with the cards to look at, to take a step back and look at the bigger picture? Yeah, this is another confirmation of that. Now, I also go by how the order they are too, right? So, um, with the leaf, the leaf here is all about growth, prosperity, um, obstacles to success. With So, here's the thing. Because we have this one with this one is saying that right now your success is being blocked. Find out what is blocking you from your true success. Whatever that block is, you need to like work on it and not just like say, oh, well, I'm going to work on it. And then this whole week goes by. Damn, I didn't do a damn thing for myself. So it's time to recognize your obstacles. OK, and, um, you know, this is also about maybe having some disagreements with others um, and it's time to come to some agreements, mutual understanding, even if it's arguments that you're having within yourself. OK, because. Lord knows we all have arguments within ourselves, right? All right. The next one is the, um, all right. So yeah, the wave is the one that's talking about the healing and all that. I think I did that one already. All right. The rings, the rings, love. This one's all about love, passion, sexuality. Um, so w the fact that we have this, with the love is saying that some of you are experiencing problems with sexuality, relationships. Um, and so, and, and maybe your own passion or passion in a relationship. So it's time to really like focus on that. Um, open that up for yourself. Right. And the last one is the black rune. Okay. The black rune, um, is all about endings okay this is about endings departure um, of pain and loss you might mu you must you may feel controlled or ruled by others or your own unhealthy mindset um and this is saying that it's time to remove that remove those blocks remove those blocks that you put on yourself okay um that's the message for this week that i have self-love forgiveness um Attend to your inner child. Take off your mask. All right, guys. Much love and blessings.